So today on Reezy's Recipes, we're gonna show you guys how to make a curry stew. So basically when I make a curry stew, I take everything that's about to go bad or that I need to use out of my refrigerator and basically throw a bunch of veggies together. So today I have carrots, sweet potatoes, onion, garlic, other green onions, mushrooms, more carrots. I have some chopped up green bell pepper. I have some more vegetable broth, rice for the base, and coconut milk. So this is the perfect go-to when it's cold and rainy and when you just need to get rid of everything that's in the fridge pretty much. So starting off, I just put a little bit of olive oil in the pot. Pretty much add all of this. Okay, so while that is going in the pot, we're gonna skin these potatoes here, like so. And just pretty much skin these, and then we're gonna cut these up really small. Skinned all the potatoes using just a simple potato peeler, I guess. <laughs> and we just cut up the potatoes really small in like little cubes, depending on how you like it. But these are gonna cook down really well. Okay, so the bell peppers, the onions, the mushrooms are all cooking down pretty good right here. And now we're just gonna let this cook down together. Okay, so next we put some of this Trader Joe's low sodium vegetable broth. And how much was that? Probably two cups. Two cups. So I just let that simmer down. And we haven't seasoned it yet. We're gonna wait until they cook a little bit more to start seasoning everything. Okay, so next we're gonna add this minced garlic. And y'all, I told y'all before, we put a lot of garlic in food. Honestly, it's what makes it taste good. And it's so good for you and your immune system. So just stir that up in there. You can really use any vegetables in this. So anything you have in the refrigerator that you need to get rid of, throw it in there. The veggies are pretty cooked. We're about to season it. And these are the seasonings that we're using. A lot of cayenne. Baby, this is the main ingredient right here. Boy, boy, boy. It's getting real sizzly. So now Malia is adding some turmeric. Turmeric, how do you say it? We don't know. Turmeric. Add that in there. Good antioxidant. Superfood, you already know. And now she's adding the curry, which is pretty much the most important ingredient in this masterpiece. By the way, Malia is the OG of the curry pot maker. That's why we got her seasoning it, because she know. What's this right here? Some masala? Mm -hmm. Yes. Get all the Indian spices, guys. And like I said, you can kind of customize this any way you like. The main ingredient and the most important part is the curry. We got all the good stuff, so we're making an extra good one. So, that'll be next. Okay, so now... Malia is adding this Italian tomato paste. It's gonna give it some good flavor and some color. So if you notice, everything is kind of turning yellow. That's from the curry and the turmeric. It looks like warm. <laughs> <laughs> or like ground beef. <laughs> and the next most important ingredient besides the curry powder is the coconut milk. This is what gives it like a light color. It'll kind of be like light yellow by the time we're done. That's pretty much it. So we're going to let this sit and simmer. Let all the seasonings get good in there and work its magic. This is the finished product. Super creamy, delicious curry stew. Brown rice, potatoes, carrots, all the good stuff that's in the fridge, curry. Enjoy! Bon Appetit! Put that lime on the end if you want that extra goodness.